Hey guys, Parker Hammock here, and today I wanted to talk about the one thing that you're probably lacking that's not getting you to where you want to be in your goals, which is pretty simple. It's consistency, and I just wanted to talk about my experience with consistency, how you can apply it to your life, and you know why it's the biggest tool you have. Now, there's one misconception about consistency is you have to stick with one thing and just wait till it works out. And that's just, that's just not it. Cause I, th I think it was Thomas, no, it was somebody, it was somebody successful said definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And there's something to be said about that but there's also something to be said about doing the same thing over and over and over again, knowing that there's gonna be a result, but knowing it takes time. Cause you, it's just a thing that you have to know, like a diet, you have to know that it'll take more than a week to see results. With a workout program, you gotta know that it will take more than six months to see a significant amount of muscle growth or fat loss or whatever. With a business, you gotta know it'll take like a year and you gotta learn as much as you can for that. It's just a gradual process. In my experience with that, it's just been, well, my earliest experience with that for a positive change aspect was when I started working out when I was, when I was around 10 years old. So like seven years ago, I wouldn't say it was like, oh shoot. I wouldn't say it was like weight training, but it was, it was working out. It was cardio and I tried to do it on a semi-daily basis because I was overweight and I was out of shape and I could hardly run and my heart was out all out of whack. It still kind of is, but you know, what I did was I just found this YouTube video, how to burn fat fast. And it was basically 20 minutes of just jumping jacks as hard as you can. And I just did that as much as possible until I lost a significant amount of weight. And then I became really skinny and I was like, oh shoot, now I need to build muscle. So I did pull-ups every day. Couldn't do one pull-up. So I did push-ups until my upper body was good. And then I did pull-ups every single day at five in the morning until I had to go to school, ate lots of peanut butter because I had a lot of protein and you know fats and stuff for me to grow. And then that's how I built my first bit of muscle is I just stayed consistent with what I knew worked. And what, ha what helped me with knowing what worked was follow people that, like follow people's advice that has had it work for them. Because you can't just guess. I mean, you can guess that's how innovation is done but it takes a certain level of knowledge about what you're doing to be able to decide that you're gonna be consistent with something and knowing that it will work. And how I plan to use this is continuing it with my working out and diet. I've let it go a little bit and it's shown and that's why I'm talking about consistency is because once you stop with consistency, it's like game over you'll lose your progress faster than you think if you stop being consistent because what consistency generates is, I, I forgot what it's called, momentum. It generates momentum. And that momentum will carry you through a large portion of where you want to be. You know, this is really hard to hold up. I don't know why. It'll carry you through a large portion of where you want to be but you just got to stay true to it. And if you stop staying true to it, life will kick you, man. Life will, life will give you a little wake up call and say, oh my gosh, it'll say, hey, you've, you've done hard work this far. You can see the results you've had, but you're getting comfortable. I'm going to take that away from you temporarily. And the funny thing is, once life takes it away and you start back up again, it's way easier to get it the second time around because you know what you're doing. You kind of have like, you kind of have that momentum, like 
are you have that progress already built up and what what life is doing by just taking that away it's masking your results so you have to un you have to work hard to uncover it again instead of building it up on your own again so a perfect example of this is something i saw on instagram years ago and i keep on seeing it over the years it's where this personal trainer had this client and what this personal trainer did he was already in amazing shape he gained a lot of weight to help the client and go with the client and understand what the client feels he gained an astounding amount of weight got overweight you know and then in no time he got himself back to where he was just to help his client and that's a perfect perfect example that just being consistent is good you know i feel bad for richard yes i'm watching one of my bosses actually he's not my boss anymore but he's carrying boxes across the lot because i'm at my job right now but i don't go into work for like another hour so i'm making this video i don't know man just what i'm planning on doing is i'm gonna stay consistent with this youtube thing i'm gonna start up tiktok because it's a platform that can reach a lot of people and I just want people to know things and get inspired and start doing instead of just staying stagnant and consuming food, content, uh, consuming their time. You know, I was thinking about this last night and I heard, I was listening to a speech and said, somebody said, how you spend your time. And I was like, spend people say you spend money and then I was thinking time is a currency time is more than more valuable than money because companies buy your time from you like they'll buy your time from you at any rate it's just a, like how you spend that time is more important than the money that you make I think I'm saying that right so if you spend the time developing yourself and developing skills that can make you the most valuable person you can be, your time will be virtually limitless in value because the amount of growth is just infinite. I don't know where else to go from there. I'm just saying stay consistent with what you want to do. You got to write out your goals. You got to write out some systems to do something and stick with it, man. And if you do that, I think you could be great. And I think we could all be great. Let me now know in the comments below what you're planning on doing and what your goals are and where you wanna be and what you're planning on doing to reach those goals. Cause life is short and long at the same time. Time is valuable. So you better stay consistent with what you wanna do and who you wanna be in order to, to achieve the life that you want. All right, y'all have a good day. See ya.